I'm coming in hot. Not lost in any of the political unrest that our country is currently facing, President Donald Trump was seen walking to Episcopal Church St. John's with a Bible in hand for a photo shoot that lasted 17 minutes. During the time period, he did not mention any of the racial uh, turmoil that's currently going on in our country, nor did he mention uh, anything about the Bible or open the Bible. Now, I am not one to generally go and criticize uh, people in authority and our president, but I do want to warn our president of certain things. The Bible is very clear when it talks about not deceiving God. The Bible is not a political tool that we can just wield around for approval by the, by the church congregations or by approval by, for different people of faith. The Bible, in fact, is a double-edged sword. And we don't, are not supposed to use the Bible for our own political gains, for just to simply do a photo op so that we can appear to appeal to the masses. But the Bible is actually meant to edify and correct in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. You see, the Bible is meant to edify believers. It's meant to convict non-believers. And it's meant to be a, it's meant to be a, a ability for us to feed and to grow from. So, President Donald Trump, I pray that you do not just use the Bible just for political gain. I pray that you use the Bible for other matters. And I can't say if you read the Bible, if you don't read the Bible, that would be me going into assumptions. And I don't want to assume the worst of you, President Trump. I just want to say that be careful that if you're only using the Bible to appeal to people of the faith. Because the truth of the matter is, you may be able to uh, deceive us or deceive certain people but you cannot deceive God the Bible is very clear in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 do not be deceived God cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows saying the Bible is very clear here saying that you cannot fool God you can fool man all you want you can pretend to be a Christian you can pretend to be a person of the faith but God is the one person God is the one person the one being in our world that knows the man's heart in the same thought process, I don't want us ever to use religion as an excuse for us to do certain things. So I don't want us to say, look, only God can judge me and this is what I allow and I can do whatever I want with my life. No, brothers and sisters, let's not use religion. Let's not use our faith to cover up when we do wrong. So let us make sure that we are able to be edified by the Bible. Let us make sure that we're able to take the sermon and take criticism in a productive and and a respectful way that we may learn from a criticism and not and not be offended by criticism. You see, a lot of times the Bible is meant to correct what we do, and we can't just simply take verses out of context or takes ideas out of context because it fits our own ideologies. Sometimes we need correction in our minds in our mindset so that we may be able to please God. Because at the end of the day. You're not, we're not here to please man, but we're here to please God. So, President Donald Trump, I pray that this was truly something that came from your heart. Now, with that being said, I would like to pray for our country as a whole because there's a lot of, there's a lot of tension still going on in the air um, with the protests still going on, uh, a, lot of, a lot of uneasiness between racial um, boundaries, and, it, and right now, what our country and our world need right is love. So I would like to pray for the leadership of the country so they may be wise in how to handle this current affairs. Father God, we come before you. We thank you for all you've done for us. I pray that you continue to lead and guide our, the leadership of this country, that you may give them wisdom, Jesus, so that they can be able to handle properly everything that's going on. Jesus, I know that this is a very difficult time period. And I ask you, Father God, that you may just Help the president, Father God, during this time period, that he may not just use the Bible if it was, Father God, for a photo op, that he may open up the Bible, Father God, and be able to be edified and learn from the Bible and to use it to direct his footsteps and direct what he's going to do. 
Father God, I pray for his life, and I pray for the life of every leader that's currently doing things in this country, Father God, because right now, it's a very difficult and scary time, and if they rely on their own wisdom, they will fail, but if they rely on your wisdom, they will be able, Father God, to lead us through it. In your name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you guys. This has been Jonathan from Rise Ministries. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.